What is 2 plus 3? We're simply going to add this. 2 plus 3 is 5. If you have two apples and you add it with three apples, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you have a total of 5 apples. What is 5 minus 4? If you have five apples, or five dollars, one, two, three, four, five, and you take away four, one gone, two gone, three gone, four gone, you're only gonna have one apple or one dollar left. So five take away four is gonna be one. What is 25 plus 88? Here I recommend that you align things up nicely. 25 plus 88. You start adding up and down. 8 plus 5 is 13. So we write the second digit here, and you carry the 1 here. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So the final answer is 113. What is 254 minus 79? 254, take away. 79, align these up top and bottom. So right now, treat this like a 14. 14 minus 9 is 5. And because we had to treat that like a 14, we borrowed energy from the 5. So the 5 gets weakened and becomes a 4. So we can't do 4 minus 7 because you'll have a negative number. So we borrow energy again. So we treat this not like a 4, but a 14. 14 minus 7 would be a 7. And like we said, we borrowed the energy, so the 2 becomes a 1. And then 1 minus nothing becomes 1. So the answer is 175. Again, we have another addition question. I'm going to line these up. 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 5, 6, 7. So let's go right to left. 7 plus 4 is 11. 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10. So you put the second digit here and you carry the 1 over there. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 more is 8. And then 1 plus nothing is 1. So this question here adds to be 1,801. So we're going to now locate negative 2 on a number line. Minus 2 and negative 2 is the same thing. 0 is in the middle. So towards the right, we consider this a positive number. Positive. And towards the left of 0, we're going to consider this a negative number. A negative number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We count positive to the right negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. This is like money in the positive direction. This is like debt. Negative money in the, neg in the direction to the left. So negative 2 is going to be boink, boink. It's going to be right over here. Here. Now we're going to locate 3 on a number line. The number 3 is the same thing as positive 3. So positive 3, not negative 3, is going to be to the right. So let's jump 3 times to the right. Nice integers. 1 hop, 2 hop, 3 hop. This is positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. So this is where we end up in positive land. Here. The next question is 2 minus 5. If you have two dollars, just draw a nice number line here. This is zero. Imagine we start with two. So this is one hop, two hop. We start over here, one, two. But we're going to take away five dollars, minus five. So two minus five, let me just write a couple of numbers here. This is negative one, negative two, negative three, etc. But let's hop 5 to the left. Negative 5 minus 5 is the same thing. We're not going to jump to the right, but jump to the left. You're going to lose money. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hops to the left. We end up here, here, which is negative $3. 
and it makes sense. If you have two dollars and you spend five, you owe money. You have debt. This is worse than nothing. So the last question here we have is twenty-three minus eighty-five. Now you have some money. You have twenty-three dollars, but you're gonna spend and buy something out of your budget. It's way too expensive. Minus eighty-five. Do you have positive money or do you have negative money? I'm sorry, but you have worse than zero. You have negative money. So definitely the answer is negative for sure. Negative what? The answer is always going to be the bigger number. Take away the smaller number. So on the side, you could think, what is 85, the bigger number, take away the smaller number? So we're going to work out a little sub problem on the side. We know the answer here is definitely negative. But on the side, always go bigger minus smaller. Just like normal math, 5 minus 3 is going to be 2. 8 minus 2 is going to be 6. So this answer here is 62, but we're not going to say that we have $62. We're going to say that the final answer is that we have negative $62. Good job.